This is Don Danny, Electro Ninja here, and welcome back to Electro Ninja's Lab. Oh, this is a stupid theory, and I don't know why I'm, tack that I'm tackling it. Oh. So, for those of you guys who don't know, I am often on the Miss Burb uh, Discord server. I often talk over there, and... This theory came out a while ago. I believe it was on, uh, shortly around the time of Feast. Um, as well as I believe Ladybug was also kind of important to this theory. So, what exactly is this theory? Uh, I don't know who started it, but the theory is that Adrian is a senti monster. Now, there's a few ways that people go about with this theory. That... Uh, Natalie, or not Natalie, um, Emily couldn't have children, so she created him to, uh, so that he would, so that she could have children, maybe she, her, Adrian died and she wanted him to be whole again, and I don't know why people like this theory, um, I've looked at, I've, I've seen a lot of things about it, and I'd almost say that perhaps it could be a possibility, except for the fact that, quite simply, it's not. Throughout Ladybug and even in Feast, they have specifically stated two things. One, a senti monster can uh, is always controlled by an object. Whoever holds that object is the controller of the senti monster. So, um, for I'll use um, I'll use Ladybug as the example because it was important. Um, so in Ladybug, she create uh, Natalie creates an amok of Ladybug using a keychain that is the uh, of the Eiffel Tower. As long as she is holding this, the muck does what she says, and it does everything exactly what she wants. Um, that's one of the reasons why work, uh, the uh, Peacock Miraculous and the Butterfly Miraculous work so well together, because the Butterfly does have some control over its uh, whoever it's controlling. Not complete control, but the emotions of somebody actually helps him to control them. Um, but the muck does not actually uh, is only controlled by whoever is holding the object. And the way that they do this is that when Ladybug eventually holds the item, she has complete free will. And the same goes for Feast, except that. If nobody is holding the object, then once again, they have free will. Now, this means that if Adrian were in a muck, which now we know that mucks can be really well designed, it would mean that, well, quite simply, there had to be something for the muck to be put on. Now, one of the important things to note is that Adrian doesn't hold anything. Like, he doesn't have anything that is significant that he's like, oh, my mother gave me this, and so on and so forth, and blah, 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 blah. No, he never says that. Which is an important thing to note, is that because of the fact that that isn't a thing, it leads me to believe that he doesn't have something. And another possibility is that perhaps he put it, it uh, Gabri uh, Gabriel has the uh, maybe his wedding ring, or maybe something else is what allows him to be in control of Adrian. But once again, Adrian has free will. He disobeys his father almost all the time. Um, so obviously he doesn't have free will. And the same goes for almost all of the other creatures. So, yeah. On top of that, 
it, perhaps maybe one of the items that Natalie, uh, that Emily has on her, maybe one of those is what is controlling him, you might say. But the thing is that if that's the case, then she wouldn't have complete control over it and stuff like that. So it's definitely something to at least think about. Um, so yeah. Um, honestly, I don't see that it would work. It really doesn't work. Perhaps maybe the, um, there is something that we just haven't seen yet or something like that. Like maybe she wanted to make sure that her child could actually grow or something and she embedded it inside of him of which we've never seen him go through a metal detector or anything we've never seen him go to the doctor so perhaps maybe but even still it's still really weird and doesn't make any sense now obviously it, it might explain like something like maybe that would be the reason why he's not as uh, Gabriel's not as attached to him as he as he is, um, and why Adrian. Uh, Ad but the other thing is that why does Adrian not know that his mother had? at least some connection to Mayura. Because the thing is that he has seen Mayura, which if he had seen her, then that, if he's seen her before as his mother, then he may notice something and realize, oh my gosh, that's her and stuff like that. But once again, it doesn't make sense. I would like to say that most likely the Peacock Miraculous got its damage during the attack with Feast, which is possible and also kind of not necessarily possible. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But there is one last information that I do want to mention, and that is, well, Adrian himself. Well, not necessarily. Basically, Natalie. In Feast, there is a specific moment where as soon as she spots the um, the, the uh, statue of Feast, or whatever you want to call it, as soon as she sees Feast, she knows that there's a muck in there. Like, no questions asked, she knows. So the question then is, how? How exactly does she know that... It is there, most likely because of the fact that there is the muck in it. Which leads me to my final point. She has never once said that there is a one in Adrian. She doesn't freak out every time that Adrian comes home. Nope, doesn't do that. Not once does she ever notice anything. Not once does she ask Gabriel, is there an amok in Adrian? Was he an amok? Honestly, if we didn't see this, seeing that we, uh, we have not seen that yet. That is 100% confirmation that Adrian is not a senti monster. So for those of you who are still asking the question, if you do actually want to ask that question, no, Adrian is not a senti monster. I don't know how many of you guys actually are questioning that, but hopefully that clears it up. There is tons of proof that he is not, so don't ever ask me that question. If you do, come watch this video. So there's that. If you guys like that theory <laughs> though please leave a like and if you want to hear more theories then leave some of them down in the comments below and if you are new please subscribe and ring that notification bell because we do a ton of theories on this channel but anyways guys i have been electro ninja and i will see you guys next time but on